This is a Tesla Cybertruck for the first time here in Singapore, a little red dot. Let me give you a short tour, both the exterior and the interior. We can't drive it in Singapore yet, but I'll tell you at the end of this video how you can drive this for your own road trips. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla. We're here at Millennial Walk, you can see beautiful architecture on top, and surrounding us, the public exhibit for the Tesla Cybertruck is going to open on 22nd August until 1st September. You can see Tesla's milestones next to us, and you can also buy Tesla swag on the right side as well. We are wearing the Cybertruck Tour t-shirt from Europe with the dates behind, and you can see Tesla socks here as well. All of these can buy from Tesla's website. You'll find the link in the video description. Now let's take a look at this car. The Tesla Cybertruck is actually not as big as you think it is. It's as wide as the Tesla Model X, which is on our roads today, and it's just about this much longer than the Model X. So if you can drive a Tesla Model 3, you can drive this car, no problem. It's got a huge frunk. This is the only Tesla with a powered frunk built in by default. You press this button down here, and the frunk opens up. Enough to store a naughty child in there. And of course, they now sell a cooler box as well for drinks. You can close the frunk, you can sit down, it's quite strong. You can see that you can have three, four of you having a beer, chilling out, looking at the stars, perfect for camping. And when you're done, just click the close button and the front closes. Now the car is very high right now because the suspension has been raised all the way on top. So join me in the side. So down here you can see that this car has modular suspension height. You can raise it to for all terrain drive like that. And in city streets you can bring it all the way down as well for better aerodynamics. Gigantic wheels, you can see made in the United States. This is one of the most American made trucks. It is the top selling vehicle in the US above 100,000 US dollars for the past two months. And it's the top selling EV truck in the world today. Now, in the, here on the side, you can see that this is the foundation series for early adopters. There are cameras all around the Tesla, but what's different about Cybertruck is that they have a front facing camera. Down here, you can see this front facing camera, and hopefully, Tesla introduces the front facing camera to more of their fleet in the coming months. Going to the side, you can see everything is very angular, like a triangle. And even the side mirrors have a triangle like that, like that as well. The steering wheel is on the left side because this is made in Tesla's factory in Austin, Texas. It is not meant for sale here in Singapore yet. And you can see towards the back, down here, we've got a huge storage area and to open the side i have not opened this thing in a long time we press this button here and it lifts up and you got the cyber truck so if you are a bit fun size then you may need a, a bit of help otherwise you climb up like that this is the cyber truck lots of space over here and it's got hidden storage down here as well. So if I open this part here, look at that. There's extra space to store things. It's quite deep inside also. And when you're ready to close it, just close it like that. There's power. This is the first Tesla with two-way charging. Over here, you open this. This one, you can use it to charge large appliances and this one for smaller appliances. Three charge ports. And you've got the hooks here to tie things up, to hold things over here. This tunnel cover can open and close. So let me come down. And you just manually close it like so. And you can see these buttons here. If I press this, the cover closes. And you've seen my US video from a few months ago. You can stand on this, no problem. It takes an adult to wait but try not to jump. You press open, smooth. As we come to the side, guess where's the charge port? It's here. This is the Cybertruck charge port. You can see this is the North America Charging Standard NACS because this is an American car. So very light, very small. It won't work with local chargers. You'll need an adapter. As you come down to the side, you can see that there's a Cybertruck logo over there. 
Now you may be wondering, as we take an interior tour, how do we get in the car? Because there are no door handles. So the way to get in is this button over here. So we press this button, the door comes up, use your fingers grip and pull out like so. Now my team member is going to join me inside here, but come, come take a look in here first. You can see got gigantic cup holders, so much storage space on the side. Down here, you're greeted by the Cybertruck logo and it's sketched. You've got a steering wheel that feels like a yoke, very comfortable, easy to hold, easy to navigate. And you've got all your typical Tesla controls. No yoke, no turn signal, just like the refreshed Model 3. The refreshed Model Y would also be like that. You've got a huge touchscreen. This is one of the biggest I've seen in a Tesla. The user interface has a Cybertruck inspired design, so everything looks a bit different. Even if you see the charging indicator, every, and even the car, it's a Cybertruck shape. Now I'm going to invite you to join me on the other side and let me give you an interior tour. Welcome inside the Cybertruck. You've got a spacious cabin so you can turn on your air conditioning. And for those who are fortunate to get the private viewing, you would get this Cybertruck Singapore badge as a nice souvenir. You can see it's got a very fun sized rear view mirror because this car does not need a rear view mirror. Most of the time, the tunnel cover will be closed for better aerodynamics. So when it's closed, you will actually see the mirror in this screen over here. And you can see the turn signals is quite, quite wide. Left turn, right turn for the turn signals. You can see the truck here has a very nice cyber inspired, almost Martian design. And when you dub, there's an Easter egg. When you click on this a lot, this is a callback to when they first introduced the Cybertruck and Franz and Elon, they threw a metal ball on the mirror. Very nice. They don't take themselves too seriously, which is one thing I love about Tesla. Two charging ports for your phones. Very unique design because they are now front facing. You put them down like that. And you can see the storage space in the middle a lot. In the back, three seaters. In the front middle here, you can see lots of space in the foot. You can put a backpack, a work bag over here. You've got the pedals. Even the pedals look a bit more angular, more Cybertruck inspired. And you've got a horn. We're inside the mall, so we won't press the horn, but you can imagine what it sounds like. Okay. You can see that the dashboard is so deep. So if your, your phone or things go down there, the way owners get it back is they do a harder brake and everything flies forward. But you can imagine cleaning this thing. You, you need one of those like extension rods to clean this thing in front. Very nice bar light on top. These are the sun visors. Ex extends like a Model X. And it's got lights in here as well. Beautiful design. Your hazard lights are on top. So you press like that. Just like the refresh Model 3. Cup holders look angular. Let's take a short look behind. Welcome to the rear seats of the Tesla Cybertruck. So behind, it's very spacious. You've got a rear screen just like the refreshed Model 3. So passengers behind doing road trips and watch Netflix, YouTube, play video games. It's got a glass behind so you can see what's behind in your tunnel cover. It's got extra storage down here. Lots of foot space. And just check out the beautiful glass roof above. You can see the ceiling of Malena Walk Mall. I love this truck and I can't wait to road trip with this soon. So come join me outside to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed this look of the Tesla Cybertruck. Come check it out here on Malena Walk, open for public viewing from 22nd August until 1st September. Now for Singaporeans, while you cannot legally drive this car in Singapore yet, you can do it today if you travel to the United States. In the US, there's an app called Turo, which is like an Airbnb for cars. And you can rent one of these Cybertrucks for as low as $200 a day. I'm planning to do a Cybertruck road trip to Starbase in Texas in July next year. There is no autopilot on Cybertruck yet as of this recording. But Elon Musk has said that autopilot is coming very soon to Cybertruck owners. And I can't wait to try FSD supervised on this vehicle. A very unique thing about this car is that even though it looks very big, 
it's actually quite easy to steer because of the steer by wire in the steering wheel. So by just turning the wheel a little bit, the entire wheels will be a full lock. And these rear wheels down here, they will also turn up to 10 degrees, allowing you to be a lot more maneuverable even in tight spaces. Let me know what you think of the Tesla Cybertruck. If you found this video useful, please click the like button. Come check out the Tesla display all around. You can see their merchandise for adults, for kids. You've got toy cars. You may not be able to afford the big Cybertruck, but all of us in Singapore can order this small Cybertruck. And stay tuned because our friend Elton has a special surprise for you all soon for another kind of Cybertruck that you can get. Click subscribe to stay updated to more videos on Tesla.